It's been a fat minute since I played an itch.io horror game, but an amazing developer named Niven, um, who also made Enclosure that I played a few months back, made this game, Shelved Whispers. Um, it just recently came out, so I was really excited to jump on it. I'm really intrigued by the atmosphere. It takes place in a library, and I just love when the environment is a little bit different than normal. It's not like an abandoned house or anything, so I'm really excited to get into it, so let's go. Okay, uh, who's that? Doth knock. Oh, this is like medieval times. Who doth knock the door? I need to retrieve the keys and make my way to the library. Okay. I think these graphics are so refreshing sometimes. Like, you know, when you play like Unity all day long and it's like just so crisp and clean and then you come to this and you're like, oh, this feels nice. This feels like, this feels like OG games. Dear Elric, I pray this letter finds you in good health and spirits. I write to you with the request that weighs heavily on my heart. As you know, the library of our noble lord is a sacred place filled with knowledge and wisdom passed down through the ages. It is for this reason that I implore you to consider staying in the library for an extended period of time. Your vast knowledge and sharp intellect would be a valuable addition to our humble abode. Upon arrival, you shall discover a letter containing important instructions. I trust that you will consider my request with the utmost importance, with deepest respect and admiration, Osric. Okay, I get an invitation to stay in a library, but I have a comfy bed right here. I mean, as comfy as it can look with these graphics. I've been super into like medieval books lately that this is just hitting different for me. Is this a cutscene? Oh, okay. Day one? Oh shit, is this like paranormal activity or is it like night one and everything's gonna be chasing me? I hope not. Dear Elric, I'm ready with a request regarding the library. I would like to request that you take a moment to clean the cobwebs that have accumulated in the corners of the library with a broom. This would most be appreciated and would help maintain the cleanliness and order of the library. I also must caution you not to enter the guest room as it is currently occupied. However, feel, please feel free to sleep on the couch in the study if you require a place to rest your head. You shall discover that all you need within thou chamber. Um, these small texts are necessary to maintain the proper functioning of the library, and I have every confidence that you will carry them out with diligence and care. With respect and gratitude, Osric. I wish everybody that, like, made people do chores, like, treated their maids or whatever with that much respect. It's like, damn. Makes me excited to do some chores. They're just so nice about it. The only concern I have so far in this game is that it's really dark, and I don't know if it's just because I have a giant ring light flashing in my eyes, but... It is kind of dark. I want to like actually be able to see, see the artwork. I will put it up in post though, guys, don't worry. I can't see, I can't see. Is it really just because I have a ring light in my eyes? I literally cannot see anything, hello? No, it's still, it's still super dark. It's still super dark if I turn this off, if I turn the lights off, but I can see a little bit better. Oh, lantern, oh my God, thank God. I'm stupid and I just didn't grab this, okay. Niven, you are off the hook. You are off the hook, I'm just stupid. Well, now we can admire this. Yeah, looks really cool. I'm glad I could see it. Oh, this guy's not having a good time. Um, all right, well, I need that broom first. So, doth go find broom. Yes. Uh, sitting room, so the cobweb in there, just gotta find the broom. Am I stupid and saw it and didn't grab it? Probably, probably. Probably just because I was blind though. <gasps> that was loud. Oh, broom. Let's go. I couldn't do anything without you, dude. Couldn't do anything. All right, let's clean that. Boom. Good job. This is almost like relaxing. It's not even like scary. This is just peaceful. I'm just cleaning a, a medieval mansion. But there are a lot of like weird corners, which makes me think that uh, I will get chased by something at some point, but I also cannot sprint. So that's concerning. Let's go this way. Can finally see this room. So much prettier than I remember because I can actually see. Oh, nice chandelier. I hope it doesn't fall. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh. Bloonies? Hello? <laughs> Guys, Bloonies! Doth slayed Bloonies. I actually didn't. Bloonies actually possessed me, but whatever. If you haven't seen my Madison series, you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch it, please. It's a great series. Oh, there we go. I cannot unseal the portal? What? I lack the key to grant the entry. Portal? To what? To what? 
Maybe I don't want to know. There's got to be one in here. There we go. All duties completed, I may retire to my chamber and seek rest. Okay, well, my chamber is a couch. Where's a couch for me to sleep on? Where'd a couch, where'd a couch, where'd a couch at? Where'd a couch, where'd a couch, where'd a- Hey, where'd a couch? Let's go. Sleep. Sleep, day two. Oh, I wonder what duties await me today. Well, it's dark again. Let me get my candle or my, my lantern. There we go. Uh, grab the room just in case. <laughs> Hello, what are my duties today? Is there a note? No notes or anything? Where, what are my duties? Hmm? Am I just still gonna dust some cobwebs? I don't feel like they appear overnight. Right? What do I do, Bloonies? Help me. Oh. Oh, there's more. They're just in different areas. Okay. Okay, I see. I didn't even see that one. I just unintentionally clicked it. All right, it's getting a little bit more suspenseful now. Just a tad bit. Any cobwebs in here? Hello? Cobweb? Oh, yes, right here. Man, those spiders take big old dookies. They appear so fast. What a cob, what a cob, what a cobwebs. What a cob, what a cob, what a cobwebs. I don't know why I have that song stuck in my head. Hello, I cannot find any more cobwebs. What did I do? What the fuck happened? What happened? Where's my light? Oh no. Okay, I restarted and I'm back where I'm at. So I gotta find one more. I found five already. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Hmm? One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, oh, I found it. Yeah, yeah. When in doubt, just click everywhere. <laughs> click random shit. Let's go. Day three, baby. Boom. I'm scared, though. I feel like tonight's where shit's going to get crazy. Hello. Firstly, I shall what? Behold the visage of the knocker. That's, that's turned around. That's turned around. What the fuck? Oh, somebody's knocking, knocking. Okay. Well, that statue's literally turned around, so I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Hello? Hello, who doth disturb me at night? Yeah, who doth knocks on the door? Hello? Hello? Okay. Just ignore it. That's fine. Let's go back and get my room and continue our duties. He <laughs> Why are you facing that way, dude? Are you scared too? Are you scared? I'm scared. My door's closed though. Tis odd. Tis odd. Tis odd. How do I enter my, my chambers? Can I enter my chambers a different way? I don't know. I see all these, look, I see all these cobwebs and I can't do anything about it. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? That's in my room? That's my couch? That's where I sleep? What is that? He's posted, dude. I don't want to go over there. I don't want to go over there. He's posted. I just want my broom. Wait, how do I? So wait, I go to him, maybe? I don't know. That looks like a, a shadow entity that I do not want to mess with. But I see all these cobwebs. They're calling my name. My broom's in there. Look, these cobwebs are calling my name, dude. There's too many of them. Can I just leave? Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Help. Help. Can I just throw myself in the fire? I guess I have no choice. I have no choice but to go back. No choice. Doors open. Let's go. Doors open. Hello? Don't mind me. Just grabbing my weapon. I mean broom. 
just gonna do my job. There's so many cobwebs, dude. Too many cobwebs. I gotta get him out of here. I gotta get it nice and clean for you. Gotta give you a fair shot to kill me or else you're gonna get stuck in these cobwebs. <sighs> Where did he go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, it's like, it's like the unknown is scarier than actually seeing it. Wait, there's cobweb right here I missed. Oh, dude. See, look, uh, honestly, I'm just trying to, just trying to clean the place up for you. You're free to have it. It can be your shadow realm if you want. I don't, I don't care. I'm just cleaning it. I'm just a cleaning lady. I'm gonna go here, not look at anything. Here's one. I may now retire to my chamber. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. See, he was even scared. The statue's even scared. Ah, go to bed. There's another day? Okay. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> oh, statue dipped. Statue totally dipped. And there's... Hold up. Am I in the same place? Hello? I'm kind of blocked in. What's this? Anonymous. Verily, this building dis once belonged to the church leader, Father Uyed. Uh He would would gather the people and offer up prayers together with them, uh, for he deemed this a sacred place. Yet anon, Father of Uyed. Is that Ovid or literally like weed? Yeah, it is Ovid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Ovid found himself unable to render unto our Lord the funds he had been given to construct a new library. For this crime, he was sentenced to death and burnt upon the cross. Thereafter, a new owner named Osric was granted the funds and did rebuild this place. However, after a time, strange things began to occur. Those who visited the library could hear whispers and at times even weeping emanating from within these very walls. As long as it's just, just a little whisper whisper in my ear, that's fine. That's fine. If something starts chasing me though, I'm gonna fucking freak. I'm gonna lose my mind. Just let it be whispers. That's it. Oh, chamber's open. Portal, open. I ought not to perturb the guest as Othric hath, oh, he's in there? Oh, he's in there, okay. I guess let's clean these cobwebs. What the fuck is that? Who is this? I'm stuck. Cobweb. Yeah. The king. Uh, I don't know. I'll deal with you later. I have a duty to fulfill. I have a duty to fulfill. And I will fulfill my duty. Just trying to clean my cobwebs in peace, dude. Just trying to clean them in peace. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Maybe I can leave. Ah, this guy's, oh my God, this guy's so loyal. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh God, he looks like the, the, the nun. Oh my God, he looks like the nun. That is scary. All right, let's go back this way. This place got smaller and I can't find any more cobwebs. It literally got smaller and I'm having a harder time finding the cobwebs. Are you sure I don't go disturb somebody in here? Fuck. I like disturbing though, I like it. Let me go disturb, please. Ah, there we go. Yes. Return to my chamber. Or, or we go to the portal. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Get a little, oh, oh, I thought this was my room. I'm just, oh, I'm just confused. I'm sorry. No, we go to their room. They will never know. They will never know the plan. What we had intended to do in the, okay, never mind. Never mind. Just gonna go to my room then. Shadow Demon, please don't be in here, please. Let me just sleep comfortably, please. Thank you. Sleep. Day five. God. Oh, cool. And I get a book. I get a book. Grimoire of Witches, I should return thee onto the shelves. Hello? Excuse me, sir. This is my room. The fuck are you doing in here? Bastards watching me sleep? Oh, is it back to normal? No, not back to normal. Uh, this is not the proper bookshelf? What bookshelf is it then? Hmm? What bookshelf is it? One of these? Oh. 
What's this? Anonymous. Uh, when Father Ovid was set ablaze upon the cross, the villagers did congregate and dispray for his soul. With cries of agony and anguish, Father Ovid did find solace in the ashes. It was foretold that ere long his soul would return to the exact or to exact retribution, and thus it came to pass the library was cursed. Oh, so the guy watching me sleep is father? Guy watching me sleep is the father. Oh, makes sense. This is not the proper bookshelf. Okay, where's the bookshelf? In there? No. In here? No. <gasps> oh, what the? Did I die? I need to get out though? That's, I will listen to that. The door does not move. Uh, okay, I will listen to that though. I'll get the fuck out of here, holy shit. If that's not a sign to get the fuck out, then I don't know what is. The door's closed. I must seek another exit. Eh, uh, okay. But there's so many cobwebs. There's so many cobwebs, dude. I need to fix, I need to, I need to clean them. <gasps> what the fuck? Get me out. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Nothing's following me. We're fine. That's a huge cobweb. Oh my god, I can't just leave that. I can't just leave that. I need to clean it. I have the key. Key's hidden somewhere. Where? Where, 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 where? Where the key? Where the key? Where the key at? Oh, oh, you, oh, you have the key, huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for that fucking satanic circle, thanks. The demon proceeded to devour every single person who had once occupied the library, leaving Osric alone and terrified. The demon then made him an offer. It would grant him salvation, but only if he agreed to gift a vessel for it to feed upon. Specifically, some poor soul would need to remain within the library for a period of eight days, during which time the demon would consume his energy until on the final day, the possession would be complete. As the whispers began to grow louder and more frequent, Oswald was left with no choice but to close down the library. He sought counsel from a local priest regarding the unexplained sightings and the curse of Father Ovid, but there seemed to be little to be done. After some time, Osric found himself consumed by guilt over what had happened to his dear friend. He resolved to bring back Father Ovid's soul, but unfortunately, his efforts gave rise to something else entirely, a demon that had possessed, or though had possessed the sacred ground upon which the library stood. Okay, so I'm being sacrificed. Pretty, pretty easy to, to conclude, um, not gonna fucking happen though. Not gonna, you, it's not gonna fucking happen. You look at me right now, mister, that's not gonna fucking happen. Okay, I got my key. Fuck this circle, we go. All right, you listen here, you bitch. You listen here, you get me the fuck out of here, I swear to God, I will give you another soul. I will give you my fucking grandmother, I don't care. I will give you somebody else, just let me out, let me out. I'm being possessed, bro. No, no, I'm being possessed. Verily, the demon may not exist without the path, the connecting or connecting the realm of the dead with the realm of the living. Should Father Ovid's soul depart from the library grounds, then the unexplained knockings, the whispers, and the curse shall cease. This shall compel the demon to surrender and relinquish its possession. One must undertake the following steps. Firstly, discover the crucifix and place it by the deceased body, then bring forth the holy book and set it beside the crucifix. Thus shall Father Ovid's soul depart from the library and the demon's energy, energy shall disperse, bringing an end to all else. Beware that for the curse book of witches must not be employed or desire consequences shall follow. Discover the crucifix, place it by the deceased body, bring forth the holy book and set it beside the crucifix. Don't touch the book of witches. Cool, 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 let's go. Let's go. What is this? Okay, 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 there's the body. There's the body. There's where I need to put the stuff. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I'm scared. I can't get the book of witches though. Oh, everything's floating. Everything's floating. Just you wait, bitch. Just you wait. I'm gonna fuck you up so hard, you have no idea. All right, let's go get a crucifix. Crucifix, where's the crucifix, babe? Oh my God, crucifix. This dude makes entire bookshelves float. Crucifix, 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 crucifix. Hello, there we go, oh my God. 
and we need a holy book. Not the book of witches. A holy book. Is it this one? The holy book. Oh, we need to put it back first. Oh, okay. Okay, we got this one. Oh, that's on the ceiling now. Put that there. Put it there. Okay, go get the book. I wonder, so there's two endings to this. I wonder if I just get the other book, like the Book of Witches, then that's the other ending. Because it seems like there's no other way to kind of fuck this up, you know what I mean? Other than to get that book. Because there's like nothing chasing me or anything, so we just, we just continue this and then I get one of the endings? Hmm? Let's go. Let's go. You ready, bitch? You ready? Boom. Boom, basta. Just like that? Day eight? What do you mean day eight? Didn't I like... Apparently it's time to wind homeward. I was gonna say, didn't I kind of like GTFO? You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, you're back. You're not scared anymore. Good to see you. Way to leave me hanging, dude. Way to leave me behind and defend myself against demons. Even though you're literally a statue. Okay. Thanks, man. Cool. I don't need to like clean up anything, do I? Do I? I can just kind of leave. Oh, thank God. Dude, if I had to clean more. <laughs> if I had to clean more cobwebs. <laughs> Oh, that would have been funny. Cool, so that's it. We got the ending that we wanted. And I'm pretty sure the other ending was just getting the Book of Witches and just fucking literally just getting necked by the demon. That was really fun though. There was a lot of like suspense in the beginning because, you know, there was nothing chasing you, but you always felt like there was gonna be something there. And then towards the end, that's when it really got intense um, and I enjoyed it. Besides it like bugging on me the first time and then having to redo it, but I, I did it really fast. So it's not really that much of a big deal, but um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed this. If you guys wanna check out this game, it's linked in the description as always. And if you wanna go check out Niven and go support them on itch.io, I will also link their profile down in the description as well. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.